Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Dakota Wagner and I'm one of the bass captains here at Evangel. Today we're gonna talk about bass tones, specifically the kinds of guitars that are useful to have in your um, toolkit, um, kinds of strings you might wanna use, and some other things like using a guitar pick and how that can affect your tone. So first thing we're gonna talk about, obviously, is the bass. There are a lot of things you can choose from. Um, here at Evangel, we like to go for a certain kind of bass tone, which um, compared to other popular music, sometimes might seem a little aggressive, might seem a little different than what you're used to, but in a modern worship mix, it's, um, it's accomplishing a very specific goal for the band as a whole, and so we have a couple different ways we can uh, accomplish that kind of tone we're looking for. So with guitars, generally, um, the popular uh, thing to use right now is usually a Fender style bass, whether that's a precision bass like I have here, or a jazz bass. These are pretty popular with um, your favorite groups like Elevation Worship and Bethel Music. Uh, the guys at Mosaic use them, uh, the Belonging Company, um, just the list goes on of, if you look at the bass players that are playing at these uh, these churches and these music groups, they're probably playing either a P bass or a jazz bass. Uh, the reason for that is just um, when the bass, electric bass was created, um, it was a precision bass and they kind of got it right in the first go. And with the fact that they're passive, they're not active, they don't have active pickups, it's just very simple, um, the setup. They kind of just work and they work really well with pedals, which is going to be in our next video um, that we're gonna cover. So they take pedals really well and they kind of just have a really good mid-range type tone that we're looking for in modern worship. So they're really simple, they're really accessible, and um, they would just work really well. So the bass I have here is a precision style bass which just has uh, one pickup, one volume knob, and a tone knob. And this is gonna be one of the most common basses you're going to see. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play a little bit with fingers and then a little bit of, with a pick so you can kind of just see how it sounds. So this is just with fingers um, and the tone knob all the way up. And then this is with a pick. So it has a really good, uh, clear, defined mid-range um, that really works really well in um, modern worship mixes. The next bass I'm going to show you is going to be a Fender Jazz bass. And this is pretty similar to a Precision bass. The only difference is that this one has two pickups. It's got a neck pickup and it has a bridge pickup. And so there, there are a few more tonal options uh, with this bass. Um, and so I'll go ahead and kind of walk you through what each of the pickups sound like and then um, show you some finger style and with a pick. So I'll go ahead and start out with both pickups on um, and I'll do fingers first and then with a pick. This is with a pick. Now I'm gonna take the bridge pickup off completely and you're just gonna hear the neck pickup. This is kind of the more punchy sound we're looking for. Um, and so I'll show you what that sounds like. This is uh, with just fingers. And then this is with a pick. So as you can see, when we just use the neck pickup, we start to get a little bit more of that bassy, that sub bass tone, and also the mid range in it is a little bit more defined. If I go ahead and bring the bridge pickup back in, it starts to get 
a little bit more um, articulate. It has sort of a kind of a quacky sound to it that's really great for things like funk music or gospel music or something like that. But in our context, we kind of are going for something that's a little more bassy and mid-rangey. So generally, I would recommend that we stay away from using the bridge pickup and just roll with the neck pickup. Whether you have a jazz bass setup or you have something like a Music Man where maybe you have two humbuckers, if you can select to only use the neck pickup, that's gonna work really great uh, when we start getting into dialing things with a preamp. So now I'm gonna kind of talk about strings. There are two kinds of strings you can use with a bass that are pretty popular, and that's round wound strings and flat wound strings. What I have on both my basses here are round wound strings. And the reason these work so well is that they're a lot brighter, they're a lot more punchier, and they have that mid-range that we're going for um, with bass. Flat wounds generally are a lot more mellow and thumpier. You'll hear it on things like um, old Motown records and funk and that kind of thing. It just has a different kind of sound to them. Um, so it's not usually very applicable in worship music. So some good uh, round wound strings uh, will really get you a long way when you're trying to dial in your tone. Something also to note when you're dialing in uh, your tone is that um, especially with round wounds, is making sure you're replacing your strings pretty often. Um, it's kind of a, a joke that bass players don't really change their strings hardly at all, but when it comes to this more modern worship tone we're looking for, changing your strings pretty often is gonna be your best bet, starting with the guitar to get a good tone. Um, I generally change my strings once or twice a month, depending how much I'm playing, because you have to factor in your practice time um, at home, your rehearsal time, and then the time you're spending playing. And on a Sunday morning, that could be up to three hours of playing just on Sunday. So making sure that um, you're getting new strings on there so that they don't start to get dead on you um, is really important. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is just the use of a pick. Um, it's also kind of a bass player thing where um, there's this idea that we only use our fingers or that you're not a real bass player or something if you uh, use a pick that it's some sort of a crutch. But a pick is actually a really good way to get um, some good aggressive tone or just a different tone. It just brings a different kind of uh, tone to your playing that can be really useful for um, more upbeat or aggressive moments and then you can switch to your fingers when it's a more quiet moment but having that uh, flexibility to be able to use a pick or not is a really good and important thing to uh, keep in mind when you're trying to get the right tone for a song. So those are the basic things that we wanted to cover in uh, this video. Um, that would be uh, picking the right guitar that's gonna serve you well um, in a modern worship mix and the kind of strings you want and the use of a pick. So if you have any other questions you can leave a comment down below and one of us will get back to you and um, yeah thanks for checking this out.